Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be going over the Maven fight and how to prepare for it. And we're using our Toxic Rain champion. Uh, I consider this fight to be one of the harder fights for Toxic Rain. With regards to getting your Atlas, Atlas passives, I'd say it's either the hardest or maybe it's slightly behind the feared as the hardest but they're both pretty hard. I tried to do it earlier this league and I failed it. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys playing Toxic Rain haven't uh, done this fight yet. If you have killed Maven already, well, you're a god gamer and you should pat yourself on the back. Uh, when I tried to do it the first time, I had a lot less damage and I didn't really prep my character at all. And I think there's a few things you should do before going into the boss arena, that might give you a bit of a e of an easier time. One thing would be equipping the Blood of the Kurui Sanctified Life Flask. This is just a one chaos life flask. It's generally not very useful, but it's really helpful for the final phase of the Maven fight, which in my opinion is the hardest. Um, that final phase makes this so hard for Toxic Rain because Maven is jumping around in the arena and then there's also those like energy beams that you have to run through and if you get tagged by the energy beam your regen stops for like 10 seconds or something. So this makes it difficult for Toxic Rain because you really just want to be standing still stationary next to a boss and unloading your DPS on a stationary boss because as soon as she moves all those spores that you planted are useless and uh, it gets frustrating and as that fight drags on y you can get more and more anxious because you're losing your life flasks and she keeps going in the middle and doing a new memory game so the reason this life flask is good is because even if you get tagged by the cannot regen beam you will still go to full life at the end of the of the flask effect. So you can use this twice. It has 30 charges and it only uses 15. So I would definitely use that. I'm taking off my Quicksilver. Quicksilver is nice to have, but uh, we'll be using our movement skills to uh, tag the areas of the memory game instead. The other piece of advice I'd give is consider taking off grace. Like the the meta right now is defiance banner, determination, malevolence, and grace for toxic rain champion. Grace isn't very good for this fight because on the harder portions, which are the Maven portions, uh, it's spell based damage. So your Vol Molten Shell will be useful for that. But uh the only useful part of Grace is the Vol Grace active, where suppressed spell damage is unlucky. And you only have that once. So it's up to you. Like The other alternative that I'm going to use is Vitality. Um, and this is good if you can be disciplined enough not to get tagged by those energy beams. So. Um, yeah, I would just try and keep your composure and not get tagged by those beams. I always get tagged by the beams anyways, but I think, uh, I think the setup is a little bit better. Alright, let's get into this fight. So we gotta keep an eye out for these three balls that home in on you. You gotta place them at the edge of the arena. Or, oh, I fucked up there. 
or the other alternative is placing them in the middle right, in the middle of the arena. But you just want to get them out of the way. Here, we'll, we'll try putting them in the middle. There. Doesn't matter if you screwed up on the first time, but it will matter later on if you put them properly. Now, after you kill her, you gotta stand outside here. This will one-shot you. So these persist into the next phase, but then they disappear after the next phase. So it's okay to kind of fuck them up at first, but once you go into the final phase where they have the energy beam hallway that like fucks up your HP regen, it, you really don't want to have to deal with that ground degen. Eye out for those. We're gonna place them in the middle. Oh, place those in the middle again. Oh my god, I almost died. I didn't even place them in the middle. That is ugly. Again, after you kill her, you gotta get out of the area again. In this phase, you don't have to kill the bosses like I added in, you only have to kill the thing in the middle. So there's one more phase, and any degen that gets placed will save the rest of the fight after right now. it up but it's okay. Place these balls in the middle. And now hopefully I can kill her. Oh my god I fucked it up. One of the balls isn't in the middle. But we're gonna have a hard final phase now. You don't want to tank that big beam. Where the fuck is she? There we go okay. So we phased her with only one of those ground degen uh, rounds. Now, I believe after we do this, we have we just have to kill her one more time. Don't get hit by it by these. Okay, fuck this up. There we go, I fixed it. Um, orange ball you just want to stand really close and she'll miss. You can flame dash through those walls. You just can't actually be hit by them. And as toxic rain our weakness is degen. So if you fuck up the floor it can get a little bit annoying. So I just got tagged as you can see the debuff. I I got hit by that wall. Uh-oh. What the hell is she? She's doing another memory game. We didn't kill her fast enough. But the ground will never get worse. So you can technically take however long you want to do this fight. It won't get more challenging and we're really tanky. So, don't worry if you have to do like three or four memory games, don't panic. 
I'm not gonna have to. But all the pressure is just getting on those those initial ground degens all in the middle. Once you do that, um, she'll just keep doing memory games, but there will never be any more ground degens, so it never gets harder. Alright, well... I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys have some success with your Maven this league. If you like some TR content, feel free to follow. I will see you guys later.